Hello guys, this is Lina's Lima Yankee 2 Hotel. Today in this short video I'd like to talk about my favorite mast. 10 meter height, all aluminum, made in Germany, pole and a tripod. This tripod and this pole is in use for almost 30 years in my shack. So since then this mast is serving me flawlessly it's been through numerous of activations in, in different VHF and UHF activities and it's still running. It wasn't a cheap mast, but every penny invested is worth of it. The most problematic thing trying to be during long years of use, it's uh, these clamps. These clamps which keep uh, the sections uh, fixed and um, now i had to change probably uh, yes once uh, I, I changed all new clamps uh, and i changed especially i'm glad that i did it uh, the, the the modified bolts you can manipulate these bolts as you wish at your convenience even one hand like you can release and if you want you know um, to change direction it's also no problems so you can do it one hand very good because your other hand always needed to keep uh, to keep uh, the section uh, to prevent from uh, from dropping um, and uh, so uh, these bolts uh, i bought them i think maybe four years ago in friedrichshafen uh, and i also bought a new the whole new set of clamps it's still possible to buy uh, Vimo is still is still producing these clamps and probably they're still producing this mast i don't know really uh, but um, so this innovation is really really a big help because previously uh, I had to use a special wrench or just any wrench uh, but it was you know uh, you always have to uh, to fix a wrench onto the bolt then it slips then you then you as it calls the the wrench eats up the bolt's cap and then you simply after maybe 5, 10, 20 activations you see that your clamp and that your bolt is totally worn out and it's uh, it takes so many time and it takes so many nerves uh, to fix and, and uh, to fix each clamp and it's uh, one, two, three, four, five, uh, five of them, six, six of them, uh, six clamps to fix. So. Uh, this innovation uh, is really, really very good. I think it will serve for, for many, many years. So it's, it's, really, it's really a lifesaver. At this moment, I would suggest to wear gloves because it's easier to handle the, uh, the tubes and, and, and the bolts. And if the tube slips and drops, it may injure your fingers. So. It's a good idea to fix the pole with the tripod clamps in order to prevent the pole of moving and shaking. At this point, let's make a stop for a moment and take a look at the guying lines. There are three of them, that's a minimum required. I have fixed them to the ground even before starting pushing up the mast. Each guy line is specked to the ground at a distance of about 5 meters from the mast. This is very important working alone as the guying lines prevent the mast from falling during the whole push-it-up process. 
The guy lines stay a bit loose in the process, but it's enough to keep the mast safe. Later, I adjusted each guy line for the best tension. It's important though not to over tighten them, better leave a bit loose. Good morning. It's quarter to 5 a.m. in the morning and it's sunrise. How beautiful. My good old trusty 10 meter aluminum mast did it again. I'm very pleased by how it was doing, how it was withstanding the pretty strong winds on this, on this hill. With the tripod, it's uh, only necessary one row, one level of guying ropes, the three guying ropes being keeping the mast from falling down in the strong wind pretty reliably and the tripod as a base was also very solid. So the field is ended, it's time to wind up the operation and pack up the mast for the next trip. Lowing down the mast is not really very difficult. You have to wear gloves in order to prevent injury for your hands, for your fingers especially. And you have to keep the mast pretty firmly while lowering it down because of a strong wind. The same uh, very nice, very convenient bolts will help us to, to do it one hand, with one hand keeping, uh, keeping the tip, the section, with the, and with the other hand, uh, just releasing the clamp in order to get the tubing, get the section go down smoothly. All right. It's important to keep firmly in order to prevent it dropping suddenly and cut you onto your fingers. That would be a very, very bad experience. So here we are, we've come to the taking off the smaller Yagi and then slow low down more to sections and taking off taking off uh, the tube, the bigger Yagi. Okay. That's it. We take the Yagi off. Fini. There's no need to tighten up for the transportation very much unless you transport, as I did in the past with my old car, small car, unless you carry it on the car roof, the, on, on the roof bars. Uh, so then you have to take care of tightening up all the sections very carefully and then you have to bind it with a bungee cord or by any other means you have to the to the roof racks of the car uh, otherwise you may lose a section or the whole mast and then it could be a real disaster on the road you don't want this so what's left now it's nicely and orderly to wind up the counter ropes otherwise next time you go into the fields you will waste a lot of time untangling your ropes so that's that's my advice. It's important to have a rope holder allowing you to conveniently wind up the rope tightly and orderly. Uh, this exactly, you're not mistaken, this is a copycat holder uh, from Sota Beams. So, um, why, why I've been doing copying the, the Sota Beams holder? Why couldn't I buy one? Oh yes, 
I have bought many of them, but unfortunately when I needed most, they were out of stock, mind you. So I did it one myself. I did it actually three myself. <laughs> so the secret and the beauty of these holders is that you wind the rope in the form of eight. Not just like that, but just you in the form of eight, like this and like that, like this and like that. Then next time you need to unwind the rope, it goes off very easily. No tangling, no interfering, no nothing. Quick and easy and professional. So for this purpose, it's the shape was exactly designed like that. So that's it. I just fix it with the, the same gardener's wire later on to, to keep to keep it tight on the on the holder. And that's it. It goes here. It's almost done. The last move is to fold it down and carry up to the van. Tighten up the bolts. All right, it's not the most lightweight mast in the world, but it's still manageable for one person. So, thanks for watching. That's it for today, guys. If you got some comments, please leave in the comment section. Write how are you doing with your masts, what mast do you like, and what mast do you, 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 you don't like, or whatever you want. So, and please consider subscribing if you like what I'm doing. And for today, 73, good luck. This is Linus, Lima Yankee 2, Hotel.